You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Binion Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said it was the first time that I'd seen three guys drop trousers and, oh, hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. You having a good week, Lee? I am, mate, yes. It's, yeah. it's fulfilling and satisfying. <laughs> Not a meal. <laughs> well, you know, life is a meal of experiences. <laughs> okay, well, what have you got for us in the show, Beast? I've got some news about a television show that involves puppets and sex. Oh, show about mic sock. Well, on screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Could TV on social media where you can follow us, the Could.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have commented, liked or shared one of our posts, scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Sorry, it's was, <laughs> was feeling a bit clingy. Are you feeling a bit clingy? A bit clingy, yeah. Oh, you need to, to, to one of those. Sometimes one of those, those weeks. <laughs> oh. Bloated. Oh, no. <laughs> At that time, you're fat, yeah, but it's fine. Big well, visit later, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Big visit later. <laughs> well, um, so the first story I've got is about basically a list that's come out. Okay. I, I, like, I like a list, do you? I want to first look at this, I went, Oh, this is clickbait. Oh, but it's actually scientifically based fact, okay. So, not, not baiting of the clicks, okay, which is good. But this is nine things that will make you less attractive. <sighs> so, what do you think is on the list? <laughs> Wearing blouses covered in pearls. <laughs> <laughs> Having a pearl necklace. Um, yeah, quite well, possibly I've, I've, that. I've heard people like enjoy to give you a pearl necklace. Th yeah, I, I got my own now. You, got, you gave yourself a pearl necklace. Gave myself my own pearl necklace. Um, is it body odour? Um, smell is actually one of them. Oh. Yeah, but smelling too similar or too different? Too so, similar to your mum? No, to yourself. So if, if oh. you're out with someone... Right, and they smell very similar to you. You wouldn't find them attractive. Oh, I find my own smell very attractive. Yeah, but that's for yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why, why did that cause a laugh? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so yes, so not not bo. Not bo, but smelling very similar or very dissimilar. Okay. Do you, like, do you ever go into a friend's house and go? Mm. Oh, you smell like. <laughs> You do well, no, because you're your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not out loud, but in people have their own smell, don't they? They do, and that's the thing. If mm. it's very similar to yours or very dissimilar, you yeah. will find it attractive. Mm. Yeah. Um, sleep deprivation is is the top one. Oh, snoring. No, looking tired. Oh, okay. So <laughs> if somebody looks, <laughs> sorry, that's how to make someone less attractive. Snore in their face. It's like, hi, my name's Mike. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> You're right, that would be a bit of a killer on a date. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody looks tired, that's a... That's a that wouldn't have, That's not a massive turn off. <laughs> Apparently it's, it's one of the biggest things that, that make people really? less attractive. Do you not like a sleepy lover? <laughs> <laughs> a sleepy lover? A tired... <laughs> a sleepy lover? Yeah, like a... Like a tired looking lover. <laughs> no! <laughs> a haggard, weary face bearing down on me. <laughs> a haggard old trout. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the ne next biggest thing about that's a big turn off, apparently being mean. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just <so> badly. <laughs> Oopsie! Yeah, um, contradictive body language. So if okay. someone's sat there with open body language or being very close, it's a big turn off. Okay. Um, being stressed. Yeah, you don't want that in a new life. We're stressed enough as it is. We don't want it in somebody else, don't want do we? Stressed or tired people. So really, just people that take lots of naps is what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, looking too happy or too proud. That kind of smugness. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Um, not having a sense of humour. I would have said that would be number one. Which is why I'm single. Um, laziness. Yeah, so if you're lazy, it does that. And dishonesty. But if you're really lazy, you're too lazy to be dishonest, really, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, how would you know somebody's lazy in a, in a date? It's like, do you want to go to the bar now? Can you do it? That's it. Yeah. I've it's... actually had someone say that on a date. Can it, I'm it's tired. Like... Can, I go, can you go to the bar for me? No, no, no. It's a case of going, right, should we get another drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expecting them to go, oh, no, it's my round. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah. Do you want to get them and take my card? Oh. 
Yeah, they didn't expect straight out the door. They didn't expect car off. champagne. No, nearest Asda. No, <laughs> fill it big, fill it a big shop trolley up. <laughs> oh no, I went to I went a bottle of champagne. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I was on yeah. Lago before that. Huh? Oh, yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, but apparently they're the big nine things to that will make you unattractive. Okay, not like a hump. No, no teeth. Warts, that kind of stuff. No, they're over there, fine. Nothing physical. Massive turn on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about it's not about turning people on. It's about being attractive. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's not just about physical beauty, you shallow person. It's about <laughs> emotional beauty and inner beauty. I mean, to be fair, if Chris I... Chris Hemsworth does none of those things. Look at Yeah, him. but if Chris Hemsworth turned up and he had, like, a bogey sticking down his nose, coming out... Ugh! And what if he smelled of shit? That's a theme today. I've noticed. <laughs> There's a lot of poop being mentioned. No, like all from this sat... area. <laughs> if you sat down with like a really attractive person, and they like had really bad halitosis, I would have to find a way of getting them to keep their mouth closed. <laughs> see, you're see that's that's how shallow you are. <clears throat> well, hmm. you know, if it's if somebody's good looking, yeah, but perhaps a racist. <laughs> You're like, there's a way. There's always a way around that. No, there's you look not a way tired. Around that. <laughs> no, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they wouldn't really get any further with the No, races, so, yeah. I didn't think that one through. No, really very not, well. Not really, no. Okay, so next story. This mm. is about a protest march. Mm. Okay, have you ever been on a protest march? No. No. Why not? I'm very lazy. <laughs> 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 tired. Tired. And I've horrendous flatulence. <laughs> we know about the last one. Um, well, this is about hundreds that have taken uh, part in protests in Los Angeles, or LA. Okay, LA. LA. Um, against what has been labelled as small dong shame. Okay. Why was that funny? <laughs> the th right, okay, right. The thing with like genitalia sizes, uh -huh. right? You can't choose the size that you have; it's just what you get. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, if you've got ten inches, well done you. But you've not purposefully sat there and grown it. You're not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm staying at home, growing my penis. <laughs> can't come out this weekend. I'm growing my. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, just grow like tomatoes. <laughs> Keep them warm. Sat there with with your danglers in a, in a little pot of cup of compost. Ooh, another inch, and I'll be done. Um, equally, <laughs> rubbing it with Miracle Grow. <laughs> Do not rub Miracle Grow on your genitals. Just saying. Equally, if you have a smaller mm. member, that's not your fault either. Yeah. Equally, as in you know, ladies when they have. I mean, I presume they have things down there. I don't know. I've never been. Um, <laughs> you mean the, the smooth area that Barbie taught us all? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard there's ears, uh -huh, perhaps teeth. some teeth. teeth. Yeah. Um, again, each, I, 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 I just find it's very sad. So a group of people are protesting about people, who, other people, shaming for small cock sizes. Okay. Okay. And saying things like, you know, it doesn't matter what the size of it is. Yeah. Some women actually prefer a smaller penis. I mean, everybody has Stop preferences, shame. don't they? Yeah, yeah. Some people like big penises. Uh-huh. <laughs> can look for the word for penis there, <laughs> so, Some people like a, like a deep vagina. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with any of that. But you shouldn't make people feel sad. So, yeah, it, it was one of those things that, you know, people stopped the shaming. Yeah, because um, a lot of the placards were saying, look, Men can have hang-ups about their bodies too, mm. and it's not just about sort of like body dysmorphia. It's not just about women; it can be about men as well, mm. that sort of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but on that light note, if you wanted to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is the Cud TV, and on YouTube, we're under Chewing the Cud. And now we go to our story of the week. Now, you've mentioned poop a couple of times. I have indeed. Yes, you've got something on your mind. Not on my mind. My bowels. Oh. <laughs> well, this is you have to be careful with pooping. Mmm. Because it can affect... That was very informed. Mm. <laughs> yes. Um, you have to be careful with pooping because it can affect you in unexpected ways. Can it? Mm. And this is a story about a lady in China who was constipated. Right? We've all been... And pooped so hard she lost ten years of memory. What? Did she get out her brain? <laughs> she pooped so hard, 
She lost 10 years of memory. Temporarily, it came back. Did she have a stroke? <laughs> Almost, which oh is the sad thing. Oh, my God. Um, but she basically, she was straining and straining and straining and straining and straining. And when it finally came out, she had a, a slight issue. So her family took her to hospital where a brain scan showed nothing abnormal with the brain function. Um, they basically... <laughs> her memory came back after eight minutes. After eight minutes? <laughs> oh, well, it's not a long time. Yeah, sorry, eight hours, sorry. Oh, eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. Can't the word hours there. Hour. Um, so ten years are gone. Ten years are just gone. She couldn't remember it. Gosh. Right? Kids' names, um, anything. They called it transient global amnesia. Yeah, it's a recognised condition. <laughs> it's yeah. Shit for brains. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the buzz. <laughs> no more. Oh, thank you for that, Mike. I'm just going to pop off to squeeze one out. Just remember to come back, as next we have Lee in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. <laughs> What do you think we need on TV, Mike? Another one of? This show. Apart from that, we need we need another all-star competition show. We do. We, we do. do. We need yes. one. There's a dearth of them. We've not had one for like Barely a anything. minute. Yeah. So apparently this year's lineup for all-star musicals on Ooh. ITV. I've never heard of this show. You've not heard Have of you? all-star musicals? It's just musicals by all stars. Okay, wow. Well. Um, so it's judged by Samantha Banks. Ooh. No, it's not. So it's judged by Samantha Barks. Okay. Um, Trevor Dion Nicholas and Elaine Page. Elaine, Elaine Page, Page is the only person I know out of yeah, that, about that lion. Um, and do you have an Elaine Page impression? Do I have an Elaine Page impression? <laughs> Probably not, but you don't do any other ones very well. So I don't think I have an Elaine Page do impression. Oh, okay. I Okay. No. Um, so it's coming on, on, on television this Christmas, mm -hmm. and it's basically celebrities singing songs from musicals. It's a bit like pop stars' arrivals, but musicals, that kind of thing. Okay. So this year, the um, line of... like X Factor? Well, you know, the, the, oh, did they do all of them? What, what was the one pop that did? Pop stars' star arrivals. Star. <laughs> that kind of stuff, yeah. That's the last time I watched ITV was when that was on. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity knocks, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so we've got um, Fern Britton. Uh -huh. She's on it. Okay. Actor Ben Miller. Mm. Former MP and broadcaster Giles Brandreth. Mm -hmm. Presenter Anita Rani. Mm -hmm. Actress Catherine Tilsley, who was in Coronation Street. Okay. And sports presenter Radzi. Okay. Um, so it's, it's just on for an evening. Oh, it's so, just a one so, yeah, so it's not like we have to have weeks and weeks and weeks of it. Oh, good. So um, it's not like Strictly. It's like going on. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so they'll be doing songs from My Fair Lady, Brandreth singing something out of um, My Fair Lady Cats, Rocky Horror Show. Ooh. There'll be a full West End cast there backing them up, a live orchestra, blah de blah de blah. blah. Um, so, yeah, so the six celebrities mm -hmm. have to give a performance, and then there's a second where the winner is announced. Oh, okay. I'm not keen, but no. people might be. You're not keen on musicals, though, are you? I don't mind a musical, but I this kind of stuff... Mm, apparently, um... This kind of stuff what? In the, in the new year, there's going to be a second special hosted right. by John Barrowman. Ooh. Awkward. Oh. Um, Paige... And um, Elaine Page and a couple of the others. And they're going to... Yeah. I'm not that invested in it, so You're I'm not, not really that bothered. Exactly. Um, some other people will some be other doing people it. singing. Yeah. So that's coming on telly soon, if that floats your boat. Um, let's, let's head over to Netflix. Okay. And let's talk about um, a new programme called Unzipped. Are you invested in this one? Possibly. Okay. Not 100% sure yet. It's presented by Saweetie. Okay. Who is... She's American, isn't she? I think so. Sweetie. Um, it's about sex-positive puppets. And apparently they do a lot of masturbating in front of her. Um, I don't know if that's masturbating in front of her there or not. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> so yeah. puppets masturbate in front of somebody. Yeah, it's Netflix are calling it... Um, an, a, a, oh, God, what are these... Are, if they're just kind of bigging it up as like a, a hilarious 
sex positive TV show with wanking puppets. Um, so we've got Zeke, mm -hmm. pronouns they, them, mm -hmm. and they're as pansexual as f Okay. Okay. We've got Molly, she, her. She likes men and women. Okay. We've got Mike. Mm -hmm. He's a big gay bear. Hey. Um, <laughs> um, and he's always on a dating app, swiping. That is me. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got a married couple, Barb and Doug. Barb and Doug. And they kind of give like a. <laughs> they give advice. I'm reading this and thinking, what the hell is this <laughs> program about? Um, yeah. So um, there's sections with comedians like giving a little joke, okay. jokes, like discussing great questions of our age, like what is sex positivity, mm -hmm. um, size, shape. Shades, all that kind of stuff. Um, can also, also, can you identify as an anal douche? Can you? That's I, another I one do, of the questions. I, I do anally douche. But do you identify as an anal douche? How do you identify as a douche? You see, the question I always have is, is the douche the apparatus or the water? Or is it a combination of the, of the two? Or is it only when the two combine do you have a douche? Yeah. Like what came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. The yeah, so um, I'm not 100% convinced. I like a bit of smut. Mm. And you like goes, puppets. And I like puppets, but when it goes too far, mm. I'm not happy. Um, <laughs> What's too far? Too far is just puppets wanking, I think. What, so what if you just, you don't see the actual wanking? Wanking with a puppet, 100% <laughs> time for. <laughs> I like the fur, the feel of fur around my member. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is it, is, no, because if you like, you d you see the the puppet with the wang out having a wank. I don't know if there's wangs involved, or whether it's just you see the, like the hand action. movement yeah, under yeah. the under the table. Yeah. Who knows? Well, that's coming to Netflix soon. Yeah, because you could always say that you know Elmo, you know, sweet fluffy red Elmo. Yeah, never saw his hand. Like, hey! We don't know what he was doing under the desk. No, no oh, history there. Mm, yeah. yeah. So perhaps. Watch or not, yeah, whatever floats yeah, your boat. Um, we've talked about this previous uh, episodes of um, the. It's not a live action, but it's like animated backstory of Buzz Lightyear. Yes. Okay. So that's coming out next year. Mm. Um, it's kind of like his history story. What do they call it? Not a history story. A uh, origin. Origin. An origin, origin story. Okay. Um, and so Pixar have been releasing. Who? Pixar. <laughs> I thought I said Pixar. Pixar have been releasing trailers. Okay. And apparently um, they've kind of... Because normally in the, the Toy Story films, you see Buzz Lightyear in his helmet. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you child. <laughs> what? I said that. Oh. <laughs> um, we've got a picture here of what <laughs> Buzz Lightyear looks like without his uniform on. Okay. Okay. And people are... You know, so... So that's Buzz... Like that's Buzz Lightyear without his helmet. Without his helmet and with hair on. Yeah. So <laughs> he hasn't got his helmet out. He's got his helmet off. His head helmet. It's not making it any better, is it? it, make it um, any better. So Buzz is going to be voiced by Chris Evans. Mm -hmm. And it's it's kind of like the story that influenced the toy. Okay. Yeah. So people are getting very, very excited. A lot of people are assume that Buzz Lightyear was, was bald, was always bald underneath his... Underneath his helmet. <clears throat> and somebody on, on social media has been, Buzz Lightyear not being bald has ruined my child childhood. Buzz Lightyear with hair feels looking like into the Ark of the Covenant and I'm not supposed to see it or my face will melt off. Mm -hmm. I think they're taking it a little bit too far there. So I, I was shocked when I saw what, what Buzz, Light, Buzz Lightyear remove his helmet and it, was pur it wasn't purple. Oh, a purple buzz cut. Well, because previously his, his head was purple, wasn't it? It was, but he had like a, it was like a um, like a cap thing, wasn't it? Like a like a it's material had a, cap. Had a cap underneath. His no, helmet. not a, a cap like this. Uh -huh. It was like um, oh, I don't. You just you're just making me sad on purpose. Um, I'm not making you sad. Um, he, uh, it I'm was talking like, about Buzz Lightyear's helmet. This yeah, is important. When he took his space helmet off, uh -huh. right? They they wear. Yeah, like a swimmer's cap. Yeah, like a swimmer's cap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gallery. Like your voices in his head. Yeah. <laughs> With ear, ear things outside. Ear, ear holes. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the word for hole. <laughs> 
Yeah. How did you um, forget the word for hole? No, well, no, I wouldn't say holes. They're like it's like a like um like flames on the side of my face. <laughs> anyway, everybody thought that he was bald and he has a buzz cut. That's the end of the showbiz news. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's why I'm talking about his helmet <laughs> he has ear receptacles ear receptacles yeah it's not his ears sticking through holes right has he got muff <laughs> they're like canisters so has he got like muff on his helmet oh I don't know I don't know Mike I have no more things to say <laughs> <laughs> so it's his origin story yeah Right, so he's an actual person. No. Is 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 animated. <laughs> no, but in the story he's an actual person. Yes. Right, and so the dolls the toys are based on him. Yes. So although he's animated, he's actually a real person. Yes. <laughs> do we think he's a penis? Do, don't think he's a penis, no. Do we think he has a penis? Oh, do we think Buzz Lightyear has a penis? Yeah, do you think we'll see that? <laughs> Being wanked off by a puppet. Like, um, <laughs> why is that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That thought's gone into your mind there. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Yeah. Mm. It's quite hot, though. It's quite cute, as, as puppets are. Yeah, look. Very, yeah. very jaw, big jaw. What I'd like to see yeah. is Woody. Would you? Oh. And Buzz. In a pond. In a twosome, yeah. In a twosome. Yeah. Not just having sex, in a just twosome. In a, <laughs> and I bet you can find that on the internet. I bet you've probably written it. <laughs> <laughs> Starred in it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> getting that little cowboy hat on just perched right on the end. You p that's that's um <laughs> That's an option. And that's the end of the show of his news. Thanks, Lee. You just used the word <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Coming up soon, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're playing straight acting. And this one is for you, Lee. So off you go on into your den of lies. Throne of lies, I prefer. Den of the week. All Lee needs to do is act out what he has on the card in front of him and then not get too angry when his poor acting skills make it impossible for me to get them right. Are you ready, Lee? I am indeed. That I am ready. That was assertive. I'm ready. Do you want to get going then? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. First one. Yeah. No, oh, it's very big in here. Oh. Share cut up cottaging. Potoli. No. It is share. Okay. Which is in somewhere. It okay. looks bigger on the outside. No. It looks smaller on the outside than it... No. It's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Yeah, oh. having a midlife crisis. <laughs> no. Um. Oh. What's in... What does this button do? Zoom. 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 Oh, where am I? Oh, snap out of it. I've got no words. You, you, you're into this thing. You're into this particular... I'm into Cher. That's no, where cool. she is. Where she is? Yeah. Oh! That's bigger on the outside than it's it is on the inside. It's bigger on the outside. No, it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. It's bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Oh! No idea. Cher in a TARDIS. <sighs> you right. should have got that, Mike. Of course I should have. <sighs> okay. Next one. <clears throat> yeah. Hi, everybody, it's me. I need to make myself a smoothie. Uh, oh, I... Kermit Frog in a blender. Yes! <laughs> totally. Oh, okay. Oh, doesn't look like anybody's been here before me. It's very, very red, very dusty. <laughs> Someone inside your pants. No. Oh, all that, all that way, all that way in that spaceship, and it's not even a, it's not even a McTuckies. Just completely empty. Other chicken shops are available. 
<laughs> oh, oh, it's very red, very dusty. No McTuckies. No McTuckies. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone on Mars? The first man on Mars. Okay, I'll give myself a point for that. Okay. You're climaxing. No, that's more. <laughs> and I lose ten years. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just off to get to some bananas from the shop. First gear. Do you drive a car? First gear. <laughs> First gear. First gear. Second gear. Ooh, 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 ooh. Might get some bamboo. No, they don't eat those. Is it you on the way to the shops? No. I've climbed down from the tree and got into my car. Right. Um, to get ooh, 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 ooh. No. Um, no. It's a monkey driving a car, Mike. That's what I said. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I said, is it you driving a car? <sighs> okay. Next one. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little tonight. Only my tiny hands could reach down. <laughs> I'll just play with my nipples instead. Is it you in the mood for sexy time? <laughs> I hope I manage to get off before I get extinct. Is it you in sexy time? Oh, fuck. Now, Mike, it's a horny dinosaur. So basically, it is me. <laughs> so, yeah, got a point. Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Who, who did these? That would be the producer. I don't even know where to start. I'm a tiny rodent. I with really, really bad breath. Running around. A mouse with halitosis. Yes. Yes. See, that was quite an easy one. Um. Um. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I've just opened the doors and I'm now stood on my. Kenny. You stood on your Kenny? Who's I don't Kenny? I the full word away. Kenny. You stood on Kenny? No! I've, if I say the full word, then I'll have given it away. Kenny. It was here yesterday. So I swept it up. And now I'm here. Enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> on Kenny. On my huh, Kenny. Who who sings who who is who is that? Blonde hair in a <laughs> Blonde hair in a bun. Madonna played. Go in, go in. Kenny. On my hmm, Kenny. <laughs> hmm, Kenny. Did you give up? You're broken knee. No. She's on it. She's on a broken knee. No, she hasn't got a broken knee. I don't know. It's Eva Peron on a balcony. Ooh, I've forgotten all my clothes today, but I've still got a... Have you just had a big poo? <laughs> no. But do you know what? I will not get my paycheck unless I get spinning around that. <sighs> I hope I don't get friction burns from the metal betwixt. My thighs. Up and down, up and down. Where will they put the money? I have no clothes on. 
Is it you on the night out? <laughs> no. Is it you hosting one of your world-renowned fisting parties? <laughs> no. Is it you being a stripper? It's none of me. Yeah. It's a specific person. You are a specific person, <laughs> Lee. It, no clothes on. Up and down on the shiny metal thing with the people looking. Oh, where are they, they going to put their pound notes? I don't know. <laughs> pound notes not been legal tender for years. <laughs> <laughs> that was circulation in the 80s, I believe. It's, um, it's a naked pole dancer, Mike. Okay. Oh, we're getting really niche well, here. A specific person. Well, a naked pole dancer. Specific person. Uh, one is delighted to um, get on this spinning round thing. I may go on the horse. Right, spinning round thing is big lips. It's the legendary, no longer with us, Pete Burns. What? One is spinning, next in line to... me right round, no. baby, right? One is big next lips. in line to the throne, but oh. I will have a go on the seahorse. If I you shouldn't up. call Camilla that, but um, it's Prince Charles. Yeah, what's he on? Um, <laughs> Prince Charles on a carousel. Uh. <sighs> My specialist subject. <laughs> it, you are just ejaculating. <laughs> <laughs> no. My specialist subject <laughs> is swill <laughs> and sausages. <laughs> You ejaculate. <laughs> I've started, so I'll finish. Is it you ejaculating? Oh my god, no, it's not. Stop saying it. <laughs> I've not said no, it's the wrong answer yet until then. It's not that. Okay. Any of that. Is it a pig on Mastermind? It is, Mike. And I know you were just doing that to provoke my anger. I was. I don't want to do that one, and I don't want to do that one. Well, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> well, that's okay, because we've got no more left. Oh, hooray! <laughs> well, stick around, because after this break, it's time... Oh, we've got to do Crafty Queens again. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we use a cucumber as a... Well, actually, I don't think we can do that. So let's go to Lee and the Crafty Queens. Mike. Hi. Hi. Christmas is coming, isn't it? It is. It is. It's getting inching closer by the second. Like an edging 17-year-old. It is, yeah. And all of a sudden it'll just come over, it'll just be there. Like an edging 17-year-old, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna today we're gonna we're gonna have a go at making something that you could gift somebody for Christmas. Cash. Well, something a little more heartfelt. Well, um, something made out of shit loads of hot glue. <laughs> Great, yay. So yeah. So in front of you, you have you have a, a vast selection of, of different colored glue gun sticks. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you also have a, a squishy silicone mold. Oh, so this isn't a flashlight? It isn't, no. I think we'll, we'll wait until the end to you reveal. Sure? Your... My fingers fit in it. Oh. Mine do as well. Ooh. But that's not what it's for, Mike. Okay. Okay. So all simply, yeah. we are going to fill one of these silicone moulds to the very, very top <laughs> with, <laughs> with hot glue. Oh, no, I thought. And then when the, the hot glue has, has cooled, we will peel back the silicone mould to reveal the, the beautiful craft thing within. Okay. Okay. Do, it, so, do we need to prepare these before we use them? I don't think so. So we're going to be putting glue on something and hoping it doesn't stick. Well, it's it's hot. It's a silicone mold, and then you you then you used to pouring you're used to pouring resin in them. So that's very very hot, even hotter than hot glue. So we'll just try it. Okay. Okay. So I, so we've we've tu we've turned our glue guns on ready. Yep. I have to, you can choose whatever colour. It, it, it'd be nice to have different colours. Okay. So all we're going to do is, we're just going to squirt mm. hot glue. Yeah. Yay! 
Yeah, mine doesn't seem to want to work. So I'm just pouring hot glue into a mould? Yeah. Is this a craft? <laughs> did you just burn yourself? I did. You have to be careful with the hot glue gun, don't you, Lee? Yeah. See, the problem that I have here is that the glue isn't making it all the way to the bottom. So I'm ending up with like a spider web inside. Oh, just you just keep keep putting more and more and more in, Mike. Okay. So, where did you get this idea from? From the interweb. So right. people actually do this. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think mine's going to be successful. I don't think mine is either. I'm getting glue in it. Are you, can you get any glue in at all? Yeah, I'm getting glue in. Okay. Just keep going. I'll just sit here and... Uh, do you know, I, I may... I have another glue gun here. I love it when these are really well planned. Yeah, me too. Which is why I don't love crafty clip queens. <laughs> so, what people are watching at home, really, is just two, let's say, middle-aged gay men squirting into silicone. Yeah. It's very, you know, you don't need to... You don't need to log on to OnlyFans. Because remember me saying how it's, it's getting halfway up and then stopping? I'm... I'm just getting a column of glue. You can poke poke it in with another glue stick. There you go. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to be as successful as, say, the horse, the swan, the... Setting yourself on fire. <laughs> Emoliating oneself with... Ooh, emoliates, that's a good word. What does emoliate mean, Lee? It means to burn oneself to a crisp. Oh, I like defenestration. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, Mike. It's just kind of, um... Clustering. And, and talking of cluster... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Crafty Quits. It is. <sighs> yeah, mine's not worked at all. And um, I'm experiencing quite a severe amount of pain Why? with the huge lump of glue that is on the end of my thumb right now. Uh, Do I peel it off then? Still uh, sitting there getting third degree burns? Just yeah. uh, Remove the hot glue? Yeah, I think there's probably oh. a reason why it says resin is probably preferable. Or so this this thing that you've seen on on shall we say um, a a video sharing website maybe called Hoo Hoop. Yeah. Um, did they say to use glue guns? They said that you could use glue guns, but I don't think they did it properly. I don't think they use glue guns because my glue gun is actually glued together now. It's had a a back passage leakage. Well, I manage into. Squirt as much mm. glue. Said that before. Into the bottom. <laughs> You're squirting as much as you can into the bottom. Yeah. Shall we de-sheath what our creations then to see? Where yeah. Let's see. Let's see what's happened there, Mike. Okay. So I've got. <laughs> To be fair, that's better than I was expecting. <laughs> Hold it onto the camera. I'm saying that's modern, modern art. I think you can put. I'm it on saying your... this looks like something that's been taken out off to autopsy, to a biopsy. I think that that is a conversation piece on your on your knickknack shelf. Yeah, the conversation piece is why the hell <laughs> do you have? <laughs> Alien afterbirth on your shelf. <laughs> you could say, that was my conjoined twin. I like, <laughs> I like to keep them close. Um, 
Let's, let's see yours then, Lee. I think I might have a left breast. No, it's still very hot. Still very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I think... <laughs> I don't think mine's going to be... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to reveal mine. Oh. Because it's a little bit hot. What, sh <laughs> what we should have created, and we haven't... Um, should have been a beautiful representation of the male and female, female boy. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what you've actually invented here, Lee, is the pain fleshlight. <laughs> right. Fun for all the family up until that point. Because um, you're saying, oh, I've just put hot glue in there. That's, yeah. Does that look like a breast? Yeah, I think you definitely look like a right tit. Well, I, th I think the thing what we've learned today is to um, follow instructions, don't believe the internet, and if you can't get any peen, which quite clearly you never will ever again if you do this, be crafty queen. All those times you've had a go at that silence that is, and this is what you bring me. <laughs> All the times we try things, they don't quite work out as well as they planned because environments change and chemicals react differently. And you've got me to create this as the male form. I've made a cloud. <laughs> a sad cloud. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But you know, part of being an, part of being artistic is not everything works. <laughs> because it started off with clear in the glue gun, because we didn't even have quite ready to use glue guns. It looks like someone spaffed on it. May may I? Uh, may you spaff on my creation? Oh, and may I have a look? Yeah. That's what you made me make. <laughs> That's, they should be apologising for this. I don't want to though. I, f I feel that legitimately it could have been amazing. I'm, I'd like to say, mate, that I'll try better for next time, but I, I, know I, you I won't. won't. <laughs> I really know you won't. Yeah. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Thank <laughs> you. <f> <laughs> Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. I apologise profusely for what you've just witnessed, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Well, I know I will. Bye. Bye. No, no it's not even a cloud, it's a glob of glue. Flash. It's just... Why do we bother? A little cloud. Just no. Don't stick around.